In this video, I'll show you how to create button card templates so you can reuse your cards many times. This way, you only have to edit your template and not a bunch of cards if you want to do a design change. This concept will be important to know about if you want to follow along with my next video where I create a dashboard for my car from scratch. Start by going into the code where you have the card that you would like to template. Then you select the whole card and copy the code. Then click the three dots in the top right corner and go into the raw configuration editor. This can look a bit scary, but don't worry. Create some space at the very top and start typing button underscore card underscore templates colon. Then give it a name, in my case, sensor underscore big. Next, we wanna set up some variables. These are the values that we would be able to adjust easily later on when we add the card to our dashboard. I just paste in the full code of the card first. I remove the type and the state rules. Then fix the indentation. The indentation that you see here is actually wrong. It should be another step to the right. I fix it later on. Then I create the variables. You give it a name that you reference later, followed by a colon and a default value. In this example, we need variables for name, entity, label, background color, and icon. Then we can reference these variables in the card code. We do that by adding two apostrophes and those three square brackets inside them. Then we can type return followed by variables dot and the variable name. Then we just do the same for entity, label, background, and icon. And that's the first template done. Let's set up another one for that smaller sensor card. Open a new tab and find the full code for your card. Copy it and go back into the raw configuration editor. I create a template called sensor underscore small and I paste in the code. Since this card uses the exact same values, we can just copy the variables from the first template onto this template, and then just set up the references to these variables on this template too. Here you can see that I realized my indentation mistake from before, and fix it by moving the whole code one step to the right. You could just select it all and click tab on the keyboard. Now click save and exit out of this editor. We can then create a new card using this template. Create a card like usual, and add custom button card as the type. Set template to the name of our template sensor underscore big in this case. You can see that the default card shows up. I then go into the raw configuration editor so I can copy the variables we set up. Now all you have to do is edit these variables. Since we already have the full code, I just copy paste from that one. Everything you add to the template will overwrite the template. So you could add, for example, the background color based on the state that we created. Then I'm just swapping out the second sensor card with a templated card as well. If you want to use the default theme background color, just leave the background variable empty, or write null. And there you have it, templated sensor cards. Now you can reuse this very easily throughout your dashboard. One handy thing as well is that we named our sensors the same, so you could just change the template from big to small to change the look. And of course, if you want to edit the template, you can go back into the raw configuration editor, do your adjustments, and it will update everywhere you've used the template. If you like what I make, please help the channel grow by subscribing, sharing, clicking like, or leaving a comment. Thanks for watching. Until next time.